hello guys today we will learn about foundation or better say basics of foundation so before talking about foundation we know that any building or any structure has two component a structure has two basic component first one is सब स्ट्रक्चर एंड सेकेंड वन इज सुपर स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो सुपर स्ट्रक्चर इज द पार्ट ऑफ दैट स्ट्रक्चर इन विच डेड लोड और एनी लाइव लोड एक्ट्स लेट सपोज अ रेसिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग ओके सो in general above the ground level the structure that includes beam column lintel door window ceiling etc were part of superstructure and substructure is the component below ground level okay substructure work is to dissipate the load this load coming from the superstructure to the ground so that it may not get settled or failure okay so there are several parts of substructure and superstructure in substructure like column beam floor window door lintel it is a and for sub structure it includes foundation pier abutment like this okay so in which this portion foundation is very much important to us so today we will learn about foundation okay so what do you mean by foundation so it is the lower most portion of structure so foundation is lower most structure base of structure okay it transfer load of structure to the earth or sir uh, to the earth okay so it may not get filled okay and there are several types of foundation okay so come to the types of foundation types of foundation so basically foundation is categorized in two parts first one is shallow foundation and second one is deep foundation okay so shallow foundation there are several types of shallow foundation too these are wall footing isolated footing combined footing cantilever footing inverted arc footing grillage footing and mat foundation mat foundation 
or ref foundation matter and ref is the same thing okay wall footing is generally of two types either it is brick masonry or three types either it is brick masonry or stone masonry or rcc or pcc means concrete structure so basically these are the classification of cello foundation and which type of foundation are called cello foundation the foundation in which depth of foundation is less than width of foundation is termed as cello foundation so according to terjagi this relation exists but another one uh, one another scientist skempton gave other relation where df is less than equal to 2.5b okay df is less than equal to 2.5 okay so if depth of foundation is less than 2.5 meter it is cello foundation it is according to skempton okay so in general practice we will use this relation like in uh, deep foundation where df is less than, uh, sorry df is greater than equal to v according to trajaki and df is greater than 2.5 according to scam so this is the basic classification of foundation that is deep foundation and cello foundation now first one is wall foundation okay wall foundation sometimes it may be categorized under stepped foundation okay so in under stepped foundation wall foundation may come so what is stepped foundation when we provide foundation as a step means we got a wall over here and this is ground surface okay and whenever we go to our depth the depth or uh, the width of foundation get increased okay so it is likely to be at the base it is likely to be twice the width or more than twice of it <coughs> so in uh, stepped foundation the base is twice of the width of foundation okay it is this time of foundation is termed as stepped foundation okay. it is of it uh, this may be of brick this may be constructed by brick or by stone or by rcc okay now for rcc we may use lean concrete lean concrete means weak concrete like 1 is to 4 is to 8 ratio of cement sand and gravel or 1 is to 5 is to 10 okay the thickness uh, we provide in rcc or pcc type is 15 cm thickness Okay. and the projection on either side this projection on either side may be projection may be 10 to 15 cm okay. in reinforced concrete type in PCC type and for RCC type for RCC type we use this type of trapezoidal shape Okay. 
in which these are distributing reinforcement and this one is this one is main reinforcement okay this layer is of pcc type okay and this is superstructure or the wall okay ah. and next we have isolated footing and combined footing so these may be called as column footing okay <coughs> so isolated footing are isolated footing these are provided under a column or similar member for it is for distribution of load in the form of uniformly distributed load uniformly distributed load and its shape is square rectangular or circular or any shape okay so these are the footing like that which this is the this one is plan and this one is elevation isolated footing is single footing okay it is not dependent on any other thing means it is not connected with any other footing next one is combined footing okay <coughs> whenever there is uh, no chance of or very uh, very rare chances of executing uh, deep foundation we may use combined footing so for combined footing it helps it help to reduce the depth of foundation it help to reduce the depth of foundation and it also check the unequal settlement of structure okay and third one if these two and this case when column are very near to each other and the chances of overlapping is more then we use this combined footing so for in combined footing shear force calculation is very much important it may also <coughs> like in various shape like rectangular square or trapezoidal okay so combined footing is the group of it is the group of two or more than two footing in a single one in a single footing okay so it may be like this or this or 
this. Okay. If the load acting on it is P1 and it P2, P1, P2, P1, P2 here, P1 is equal to P2. And for this type of trapezoidal shape, here P2 is greater than P1. So uh, that is why P2 get the larger area to distribute the load. Okay, here P1 is equal to P2. So now next one is after combined footing. Next one is cantilever footing. cantilever footing okay so when two when two footing are joined together with the help of a beam when two footing are joined together with the help of beam then that type of footing is known as cantilever footing okay so this strip uh, so that is why cantilever footing may be also called as strap footing okay so for like that this is connected by a beam so this is called strip or tie okay. so this type of footing is called as cantilever footing or a strap footing okay So this type of footing is used where eccentric eccentric load may act okay like in the line of property line the line where uh, we have restricted uh, or limited space to excavate our foundation okay so like in property line we may use strip footing to restrict the to check the tilt due to eccentric loading okay so next now so cantilever footing or strip footing are used very much in property line where eccentric loading may cause tiltation okay of structure now next one is next one is inverted arc footing okay. so <clears throat> this type of footing are used when where the bearing capacity of soil is very poor okay and the load concent and the load load is concentrated over the wall okay load is concerned concentrated over the wall and at the same time deep excavation is not possible then we use this type of inverted arc footing so for this inverted arc footing <coughs> arc r arc were constructed between the two walls of the base okay. and these walls are sufficiently thick and strong 
to withstand the outward horizontal thrust caused by the arc action so it will be like that this is the wall this is the ground surface this is the wall and this is the inverted this is the inverted arc so this is the inverted arc footing okay so this one is end pier and this one is open <coughs> this inverted arc footing is not much uh, used in nowadays because of its costlier it is very much costly and it need skilled labor so these are the main disadvantages of this inverted arc footing now next one is grillage foundation next one is grillage foundation when the structure has to carry a heavy load structure has to carry heavy load which is transferred to the soil which has very low bearing heavy load to low bearing soil and this soil be some kind of marshy land okay so then we use a structure which must be lighter than uh, conventional uses okay which must be lighter than we use that we use in foundation so for this purpose we use grillage foundation in which uh, steel strap are spread over a large area so this is the plan okay steel strap are arranged like this so this uh, so this create a grid type okay if we look uh, elevation it is like that so it may be of single structure or a single layer or a single tiered or double tiered and this is the uh, figure of double tier it is base one means uh, and this is the upper one means it is the main bar uh, main grillage and this is the it may be called as subsidiary okay so this type of arrangement we made okay, to support the load coming from the structure okay for this purpose rolled steel just are used okay and there must be some clearance between these two bars these two bar and this two bar it is not be less than 8 cm for the proper compaction of concrete okay so this is grillage foundation now next one is rect foundation okay rect foundation or mat footing so <coughs> so where uh, we got marshy land and the bearing capacity is also low okay and load is heavy and concentrated there we use rough foundation so for in rough foundation uh, uh, area is 
uh, is made <coughs> solid with concreting by concreting we made this area a solid one and we use column over here okay so, so uh, we prepare column over here okay so this act uh, this act like a mat this one is acting like a mat and this one are the column we build over it okay so this is the ref foundation it is very much economical under water logged area where pile foundation cannot be used it is economical under water logged area where pile foundation cannot be used so that's all for today that's all for the basic part of cello foundation in next lecture we will learn further about deep foundation okay so be happy be stay be inside in this pandemic situation namaskar <laughs>